Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a new feature of Stats app that I just added. Um, it has to do with live activities and if you have a phone that supports um, Dynamic Island, as you can see in the top, which is I think iPhone 14 as of now, then you get that as well. Uh, while we are on this screen, I'll show you by long pressing on this, you can expand this view and if it's not long pressed, um, you see just these two pieces of information, which is one, the uh, SOC, state of charge, and the other one is the time for the charge to finish, along with uh, the rated range and the uh, kilowatt rate of charge, basically. You can, from here, you can stop charging as well. But uh, you will see this as long as the car is charging. For this, oh, let me show you this as well. Then on the lock screen, you'll see the same information that you saw in the expanded version of the Dynamic Island. Here we have time to finish, charge limit, SOC, rated range, and the charge rate. The feature must be started by the user uh, by launching the app. This is an iOS 16.1 requirement. So it wouldn't appear on its own. You have to launch the app when the car is charging. And when the charge is finished, uh, this screen stays for about two hours unless you remove it. And if you don't remove it after two hours, uh, the app automatically removes it. Um, again, you don't need to have iPhone 14 to take advantage of this feature, you will get the uh, lock screen widgets. And if you have iPhone 14, long press on this, you get the expanded version of this. And then when you go to other apps also, uh, wh while you're using other apps, you will see this. At any moment, of course, you can just dismiss this by swiping right and the dynamic island thing goes away and the thing on the lock screen will go away as well. You can also enable or disable this pair app. Uh, uh, to do this, you go to the settings app and enable or disable live activities for the app. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy these new features of Stats app for Tesla. Talk to you next time.